What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Screen 5 again here today. And yes, we'll be diving into more spoilers. So if you don't want any specific context to the thumbnail, then don't watch this video. But going into what I want to talk about, Hayden Pantier almost did get to return in the film as Kirby Reed. She actually expressed interest to both Matt and Tyler that she would like to be back as Kirby because she loves the character of Kirby. Those were her words according to Matt and Tyler in this latest interview from nerd list and she base what they basically had had to say about the whole kirby debacle and her almost returning they said that they wanted to answer the kirby question in some way from the beginning and we just didn't really know what that would be there was a period during the pre-production where we thought we might be able to even get her in this movie we had a zoom with her that being hayden and she was lovely and she was like i love kirby i'd love to be in it so then, of course, that leaves us with why didn't she return? Why wasn't Kirby in the film? Their reasoning was honestly uh, the only reason she wasn't in is because we were so far down the road that it would have been an injustice to Kirby to sort of shoe her, shoehorn her in. But we did know that we wanted to somehow answer that at some point. And then apparently how they wanted to do it, that the perfect moment came when the crew was doing post-production they were looking at a youtube page where she would have ultimately make her where she would ultimately make her appearance it wasn't originally a youtube screen it was going to be an interview with ryan johnson talking about how great stab eight is and then when scheduling made the ryan johnson thing not work out we designed the youtube page and the first thing we said was this is where we can answer the kirby thing this is where we can let people know kirby survived we'll make this an easter egg as soon as we did that we're like oh this is great it's subtle but it answers that thing we all want to know did she live or die so just going off of that and knowing that they want to have Kirby or that Hayden even in herself was interested in being back. I think that's very telling to a lot of things. Does that indicate to us that Hayden got contacted as far back as maybe even late 2019 when she started posting all those things like the Kirby haircut that she got? Um, did she get notified sometime after that or was she just tipped off about something and about somebody being interested in her coming back as Kirby and that's why she got that haircut like that ultimately it could have just been she got her hair cut like that just for the sake of getting it cut like that and then just coincidentally there was these two directors Matt and Tyler Radio Silence who came to her and expressed interest in them wanting to have her back into the role of Kirby for Screen 5 and then she of course expressed interest in being up for doing that because she loves the character now the fact that we didn't get her ultimately came down to they didn't want to just shoe, shoehorn her in and i i can understand that to some degree because you have this new character that you're introducing to us sam carpenter who is again portrayed very well by melissa barrera um our new final girl so to speak and you know we have this sister dynamic going on you don't want to have this fan favorite character come in and potentially steal the thunder out from under these two sisters like outshine them in some capacity and i think honestly they just want to do more of a more of a service to the character since she we haven't seen her for 10 years and they didn't just want to throw her in and say you know what she's alive now she's gone again i think they want to actually spend time with her i think that's very telling in terms of what they may have already have in store for us coming with scream six and hayden being a part of that project um it, so knowing that hayden wants to come back honestly makes me so happy because the character of kirby knowing that she loves that character so much it would be nice to see her reprise that role in a scream six or even later on if she were to make it out of scream six alive if she's in it or if she's not in it scream seven is always up for debate or discussion as well the other thing i wanted to talk about really quick before i jumped into well actually no i'll spend more time on kirby really quick it'll just be nice to see kirby have some interactions with the characters of like a mindy meeks martin played by jasmine savoy brown who was pretty much like what kirby was in in screen four better versions of randy that's what i'll describe those two ladies as better versions of randy and their interactions i could see j just being so playful and so well so well done so well portrayed between the chemistry that i imagine those two would just have given the characters that they portray in the scream universe and what their characters have in common in terms of horror liking horror movies being fans of the stab franchise in specific kirby talking to mindy about the stabathon mindy never makes mention of the stabathon but i would imagine mindy would have loved to be part of that love to go to a stabathon so if kirby and mindy have a scene because again i've talked about like recreating the scream 2 uh film 
sequel to the discussion scene at the college campus you could do that in scream six again kirby being like a professor mindy being one of the students going back and forth with the professor uh kirby could actually be a student because you know everybody goes to college at different ages as well you don't not everyone goes right out of cop right out of high school i mean so hopefully we get to see hayden back in the role of kirby they did also point out the fact that they were kind of honing in on little things like the quote from Wes. I think what they're talking about is that we're, maybe I'm mistaken, but again, this honestly put so much more underneath the fact that the movie released on January 14th, which was a tweet date 10 years ago where Wes mentioned Kirby possibly surviving. Matt and Tyler did reference in that interview with Nerdlist that they were going back to some quote with Wes. I think they might have been talking about that tweet, but I could be wrong. Uh, the fact that it came out on January 14th wasn't a coincidence. I think that was something that was strategically planned as a clue, another hint to Kirby. I might be mistaken, of course. It could just be a coincidence as well. The other thing I want to talk about really quick is Sydney Prescott. So Sydney Prescott, we know, had a husband in Screen 5. We never got to see the husband. We did get the name Mark. Now, the only Mark everyone was honing on to was Mark Kincaid from Screen 3, portrayed by Patrick Dempsey. Now, with an interview from Entertainment Weekly, this is a different interview, they say that Sydney is married to an unseen character called Mark. One of the edit one of our editors, Patrick Gomez, has a theory that Mark is Patrick Dempsey's character from Scream 3. And then Bet Nelly Open said Mark Kincaid. And then Gillette was like, Yeah, it's officially on record. They just laughed. So Mark Kincaid, yes, was Sydney's husband. I think in another view that I was seeing there was that pa Patrick Dempsey, he's that's two movies now. I think there was a mention in the original draft where Sydney's husband. I might be mistaken. In the original draft, I think that I again shared in the description of my video that i posted last for scream in that draft there's a mention of sydney turning to her husband so i think that would have been a chance for patrick dempsey to again reprise his role as detective kincaid and he just ultimately was not there again just like he wasn't available for screen four for whatever reason so hopefully we get to see these characters that we have wanted to see back a part of the part of the fold going into scream six that being kirby uh interacting with the new group of survivors mindy chad tara sam um and Mo pa patrick dempsey's character of mark and kate and just seeing how his relationship with sydney is going and how his fatherhood is going with their children and just how that all gets intertwined with ghostface hopefully as well but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video